Hello, monster fans. Here we go with a quick little demo. As I promised, we would discuss um, pulling out the latex mass copy. So right now I'm showing you a can of baby powder. Put a little baby powder in the side of the mask. The mask is dry. And here I'm just brushing around that baby powder to disperse it and make sure that um, I get a uh, little bit of layer of baby powder built up around the entire inside of the latex mask. The reason for this is this will make sure that it doesn't stick. Uh, once latex dries, if you pull it out, an ear lobe or something can stick to itself. So um, this ensures that the mask uh, will not stick to itself. So once again, just brushing some baby powder around, making sure that I've got a little layer everywhere. And then we'll be ready to start to pull the mask out. Now the inside of the mold, when you feel around, the mask is ever so slightly pulled away from the mold. That's a good indication that the mask is ready to be pulled out of the mold. Also should be dry. You shouldn't see any white spots or spots that are not dry. If you do, you don't want to pull the mask out. And then here I am peeling it away from the mold. Some areas do stick a little bit, so you're going to have to work it away gently. Try not to rip or tear or force something. There we go. We're just working around the edge where the mask ends, trying to break it loose and free it up. Once you get it freed up, it'll come out pretty quickly. Now keep in mind, your latex will be dry on the inside of the mold, but the layer that is touching the mold, that where all your detail is, is going to be a little bit uh, wet still, slightly damp, uh, just ever so slightly damp, and it'll be very white as you see here. I think it just got the mask out. And you can see it just goes right back into shape. Now I'm just going to check it for any air bubbles or anything that's going on. But uh, this one came out pretty clean. And then, as you can see, here's some close ups of it. There's no real air bubbles anywhere. Nice clean casting. Came out pretty thick as well. Um, but as you can see, the latex, the out, the inside of the latex that was touching the mold, the detail coat, it's still whitish. And once it's dry, it should be very similar color to the inside of the mask, which is like a tan. So um right away I will stuff the mask with some trash bags or something newspaper and put it on a stand to hold its shape and it'll hold its shape but it needs a little support and just to make sure it stays in shape you don't want to set a mask out that's not and then you know just set it to dry for a few days before you start painting and that's it voila please remember to like and subscribe to the channel thank you so much we'll see you again soon bye